Today, I want to talk to you about how to write a summary for a fictional text. To summarize means to retell a story in your own words so that it is shorter but still includes the main ideas. Here are some things to remember as you write your summary. Keep it short. Use your own words. Include the main ideas for the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Refer to who, what, when, where, why, and how. Don't include your own opinions about the story or your predictions about how the story will end. One way to summarize fiction is to use the big five. Somebody wanted, but, so, then. Start by telling somebody. Who is the character? Next, tell wanted. What did the character want? Next, tell but. What was the problem or conflict in the story? Next, tell so. How did the character try to solve the problem? Finally, tell then. What was the solution to the problem? Here's a paragraph frame that may help you structure your summary. In title of the text, somebody wanted, describe what the character wanted, but describe the problem. So, describe how the character tried to solve the problem. Then, describe how the story ends or how the problem was solved. That's not so bad. Let's see what a real summary like this looks like. Everyone is familiar with the fairy tale about the three little pigs. Let's use our paragraph frame to summarize that story. In the fairy tale, the three little pigs, the pigs wanted to move out on their own and built their own houses. But the big bad wolf tried to blow their houses down. So the pigs who built their houses of straw and sticks ran into the third pig's house made of bricks. Then, when the wolf couldn't blow down the third pig's house, he climbed down the chimney and fell into the boiling pot of stew. Easy, right? So, next time you read a fictional text or part of a text, like a chapter in a novel, stop and write a quick summary using the big five. Somebody wanted, but so then. 